I, I hosted a show for Netflix. It was called The Ultimate Beastmaster. I mean, what a piece of shit show this show was. But I had no choice, okay? I had no choice. I fuck it. I needed the money. So I was like, I got to do this. And I co-hosted the show with Tiki Barber. He was an old NFL running back, this guy. Tiki Barber, borderline Hall of Fame player. I was like, that's interesting. Why is Tiki Barber co-hosting a show with me? <laughs> and then I found out he was going through a divorce and he has six kids. I was like, oh, he also needs the money. That's what's happened. <laughs> the state of New Jersey is crushing this guy. And when Netflix hired me, they hired me to do jokes. They were like, you know, you're gonna be the color commentary guy. They were like, Tiki's gonna do the, the X's and O's. You're gonna be the fun guy. Color commentary, be silly. I was like, great. So they hired me to do jokes. I do jokes, then I get fired for doing jokes. Because what they told me was, they were like, look, it's an international competi competition. You're the host of Team USA. So what we need you to do is make fun of every other country. Just shit on them for everything they've ever stood for. And when that camera is on you, you be pro-America. So say how much the other countries suck and how much you love America, it'll be good. I'm like, okay, this will be fine and have no repercussions. This is exactly... <laughs> What America wants to see right now is just Chrissy Capital Face yelling, build the wall at the Mexican team. This should be perf McGurf. So I do the show and I get fired for jokes. Like Team India actually had a team. Team India had a team. And one of their competitors, his name was Rishi Patel. Tell me if this is a problem, Rishi. His name was Rishi Patel. I was calling him Rishi's Peanut Butter Cups. You have an issue with that? Not at all, right? Dude. It's fucking, I'm telling you, dude. See, and because other people did. We should have a show, we should do a thing where it's called Ask Rajivs. Remember Ask Jeeves? <laughs> Ask Rajivs. You wanna do that? Me and you are gonna do that. Ask Rajiv, my agent's here, mark it down. Ask Rajiv, it's taking me to stardom. Ask Rajiv. <laughs> Rishi Patel, problem with it. I was like, okay. But the one I got fired for was, when you fell off the obstacle course and you got like eliminated and you fell into the water, they called that water the beast blood. I had to, have to keep saying that, the beast blood, the beast blood. And then one day I showed up to work and I was like, you know what? I'm not calling it the beast blood today. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, okay? I've been here three weeks. I don't give a, I'm sick and tired. I was drunk on set. I had been drinking Bud Light seltzers, doing Flonase. I said, I'm not calling it the beast blood. And I said, I had a little Netflix producer in my ear. I said, listen, buddy, I'm gonna call it something else. I'm not calling it the Beast Blood, so I just wanna make sure I have your permission. She goes, absolutely. We love you here at Netflix. You were doing great, Chris. You were doing so good. I was like, okay. So Team China was stepping up, and they were unbelievable, Rajiv. I mean, they were so good. No, you don't understand how good they were. They were fantastic. And their best competitor, his name was Bin Fung, he was stepping up onto the obstacle course. So nobody thought he was gonna fall. But on the off chance he did fall, I was like, I got a good one in my head. It's almost like Jesus placed a joke in my head as soon as the board said Team China. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Bang, he just put it right in my head. I was like, boom. So I told Tiki, I said, Tiki, listen to me. If this kid falls, don't say anything. I got a good one. <laughs> and Tiki was just looking blankly straight ahead, just staring off into space. I was like, dude, are you okay? He was like, I should have never got married. I was like, yeah, dummy, what are you doing? Of course, I mean, I could have told you that. So Bin Funk steps up and he's flying through the obstacle course. He's just doing good. I'm like, ah, he's not gonna fall because I had the perfect joke. If he would have fallen, like, shit, he's not gonna fall. So, but with that, he's in the middle of the obstacle course and it starts to rain out of nowhere. It starts to, it's almost like Jesus himself started to make it rain, like Salt Bay. Just, <laughs> just starts making it rain because he wanted to hear the joke he put in my head. So. I'm like, oh my God, this might happen. And Bin Fung knows that it's raining, but he's got to get to the other side of the course. But if, you know, if he falls, he falls, he's out. So the, he's trying to go fast, but the rain's picking up and the course is getting wetter and wetter and wetter. And so was I, because I knew <laughs> that this kid is gonna fall and then I'm gonna unleash the joke. And that's exactly what happened. He just fell and I let him splash and hit that water. And I took a moment in my head. I asked, even, I even asked the Netflix producer one more time. I said, am I clear? to improv a name for the Beast Blood. He was like, absolutely. I was like, okay, there goes Bin Fung into the duck sauce. <laughs> the producer, he was like, oh no! Cut! Cut! I'm like, God, thank you. 
Thank you. Fired. Immediately, on the spot, fired. And you know what the hypocritical bullshit is? Bin Fung retweeted the clip of me saying, there goes Bin Fung into the duck sauce, okay? Binny absolutely loved it. Yeah. I, he did, he loved it. I got fired by some fat white woman named Barbara who definitely sent the email with duck sauce on her fingertips. I know she did, because she's fat, fat, fat. Yeah. You fired.